Hey everyone, today we are going to learn how to install a Flutter on your Windows machine. So for that we have to install the following tools like Xcode, Android Studio, VS Code, something like this. Uh, here I am going to give a step by step instruction. Even though video is going to be around 15 minutes, it will take around 1 to 2 hours to complete the setup. But don't worry, I am going to give a step by step instruction how to install and run your first Flutter application. So as a first step, we have to install the Flutter SDK. So let's do it. To install a Flutter on your machine, so first you need to go to this link and click the Mac OS. Make sure you have the proper system requirement and the Flutter uses the Git and if you have a Xcode, you don't need to install. Otherwise, you just need to go to this link and you have to install the, yeah, and you have to run this command to install. And if you don't have a home brew, so you just need to go to this link and copy this and copy this link and open your terminal and paste here and then you need to run it. So I already have it, so I, I don't need that. Once the homebrew is installed successfully, you can run this command. Once the git is installed successfully, you can type git version and you can see the version. So this version may be different for you uh, at the time of recording. So it is a version 2.24.3. So you might have a different version. That's not a problem. So you can continue the process. Once the Git is installed successfully, so you can go to the documentation. Then you have to download the Flutter. So the version may be different for you. At the time of recording, it's 2.0.5. So you might, you might see the different version, but it doesn't matter. So you can continue the installation. So click to download. So once the Flutter is downloaded, you need to copy this and go to your home folder, paste here. So then you need to tap it and it will extract the folder. Now the folder is extracted, you can go to the Flutter folder. So here you can see the uh, required tools. So now we have to set up a path for this bin folder. So let's see how to do it. So you need to open your terminal and type following this thing export path is going to be so here you have to drag your folder and complete the partition and hit enter now the path is done so you need to type flutter version to check the version if you are facing any issue like this, you just need to cancel and open your system preference. So go to your security settings. So you can allow it and close it and run it again. So click open. So now you can see the flutter has been configured successfully. But if I close this terminal, and if I reopen it again and type the flutter again so here you can see some error something like this because this path will be a temporary one so we have to set up the path permanently so to set up a path permanently so you need to go to this link and here you have to follow this command so opening my terminal so here you just need to copy this and paste here so here you can see the uh, like a type of terminal you are using. So my machine has a ZSH. You might have a different uh, one. So like a bash or bash SRC. So based on that you have to edit. So the procedure are same only. So let's edit this one is a shell. So to edit that. So I'm going to use sudo nano and here the home folder and slash is a SRC. Is it H or C? And hit enter. It will ask the password. So here you need to copy this and paste here. Here you have to work with your directory. So the directory and just dragging this. So now we pasted the directory. Control X to close this. Save this file and hit enter. So now we have to execute this one. So now we have to execute this. So to verify this, so you can um, 
you can run this command. So now you can see the flutter path. So you can type the flutter version now. So the command line is working. So I'm going to close it and reopen the terminal again. So if I type flutter version, now it is working. So now we set up the path permanently. So whenever we use, like we, whenever we restart the machine, so it will work perfectly. Once the Flutter SDK is installed successfully, so then we have to install the Xcode. If you focus only on Android, so you can skip this step. To install Xcode, go to Apple icon and click App Store. So here you have to search for Xcode and this is the tool. Click it and here you will see an option for install. So click it, it will install automatically. Now the Xcode installation process is completed. So let's do the Android installation. To download the Android Studio, go to this link and click download and you need to accept the terms and click download. Once the Android Studio is downloaded, just double click and we can start the installation. So you just need to drag it here. So now you can close it and we can open an Android Studio. So now the Android setup is running. So let's click next. So we have to download few things, let's click finish, so it will download it. Once Android Studio is launched, so it will do the initial setup, so here you can see the progress. Once all the setup is done, click Android Studio and go to the preference. So here you, you need to click the black ins, so you have to search for Flutter. So here you will get the option for install, so you need to install it. So it will also ask for an installation for a dot. So you have to install. So once the installation is done, so you, you will get an option for restart the Android Studio. So you, you have to restart it. Now the Android Studio setup has been completed. So to edit the code, I'm going to use the VS code. Uh, let's see how to install it. To install the Visual Studio code, go to this link and click for a Mac. Once the VS code is downloaded, so extract it. So you can drag the VS code into the application. So then open your VS code, go to your extension. So here search for a flutter. Select this, you will get an option for installing. So you need to install it. Let's run a flutter doctor now. Now all the setup has been done successfully. So we are ready to go. Now all the setup has been completed. Let's see how to create a new project on a flutter. So to create a new project, you have to execute flutter create and your application name. It take a couple of minutes. Now the project has been created successfully. So then I need to change my working directory and open with my code editor. So here you can see some code. So this is the default code. Right now we don't need to worry. So let's run this code on my device. So to run it the device, so here you can see there is no device found. So let's see how to add the devices and all. Now we need to run the application on a real device or we can use the emulator. So I will teach you how to run it on the Android emulator. Run an Android simulator, open your Android studio and click the AVD manager. So here you can see the list of device. In case if you are not finding, so you have to add the new virtual device. So you have to select the phone and click next. And then you can select the operating system and click next. So you can name and you can add a few settings over here and click finish to create a virtual device. So I'm going to choose my virtual device and click, click play to run. And we will also learn how to run it on a real device. Connect the real device. You need to go to the settings and scroll to the end and click the system. So here you have to go to the about phone and you can see the build number. So you need to click this for a multiple times and then you can come back to the settings. So again, you can go to the system. So go to the developer option. So you have to enable this developer option and then uh, you need to enable the USB debugging. So once you connected the device, so you can see the list of devices here. So now we can run the application. Go to the terminal, so type flutter run. For the first time, it will take a couple of minutes to run. So let's wait for it. 
now you can see the default flutter application is running so now we run the application on an android device so let's do it for ios to run the flutter application on an ios simulator so first you need to open the simulator so using this command you can open the simulator and make sure you have xcode xcode installed on your machine otherwise it won't work i'm just running the command so it will bring the ios uh, simulator so to run the application on ios simulator so you need to execute flutter run so here you can see the device the device is connected so it will take a couple of minutes uh, for a first time now the build is successful so here you can see the default output i hope you run the first application so how do you feel now